Welcome back. So the next area we're getting is something about using Angular Firestore. And again, our component test doesn't know anything about Angular Firestore and it actually shouldn't. Let me try and explain why. When you're testing this component, we don't care where we get the data from actually. We, we really don't care if the data is coming from a JSON file, just a hard-coded data inside a TypeScript file. It doesn't matter. It can come from a backend. That's not the point of this test. What we are trying to test right here is that the app component work. I really don't care about where the data is coming from. I don't care about any of that. I don't care about the service actually even. It doesn't matter. I just want to be sure that when I click that save button inside my add product, I want to know that I'm calling a service event that says save this product. I also want to make sure that that product has the information that I expect from these input fields. I also want to make sure that I actually when I click the button, I hit this specific function and stuff like that. So that's the goal of this test. It's not if it saves the data on the back end. It's not if the data is saved correctly. I don't care about all of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the idea with the service. So instead of using the real service like we are in our actual add component, we're going to mock this service. Let's just try and jump into it. So instead of using this service you see right here that uses Firestore, file service and HTTP client, we're going to make a mock or a stop of that where we go in and we fake all of these calls. So instead of saying get products from a backend like we're doing right here where we get the data from actual Firebase, we're going to instead say just return a collection of products because I don't care again if they're hard coded or if they're real products. I just want to be sure that when I call a function, I want to actually execute some specific code. And if I go down, I actually also have one called add product right here with image. So that's what I want to know. I want to know when I call this service or sorry, when I press the save button in my view, I want to make sure that I actually call this guy with the actual product, with the image made in the data, and I don't care about what happens with the data itself. Because later on what we'll do is we'll put all that knowledge and all that logic inside the service test, because that's where it belongs. Because the service test, that needs to understand if we're actually calling the right functions on Firebase or whatever we want to test. I hope that makes sense. So right now, because we are focusing on testing our component, what we're going to do next lesson is we're going to mock out the service so instead of using the actual real service right here, we're going to make a mock or a stop that just presents the service and pretty much just explains that if you do an add product right here, I expect that you call the service add product with image with the right information and at some point you get some information back. I don't know if that makes sense yet, but hopefully it will in the next lesson where we try to stop this out to kind of show how easy it is to kind of, instead of using the real service, use a fake service that we'll just go and create ourselves. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time where we'll kind of execute on the things I just told you guys. Bye-bye.